Hi guys, Aka here. Well, it looks like we got Evernead again. I know quite a few of you were saying it when people like me and other folks were getting all excited with the dragon and now it has come and oh my goodness. Like, I don't think this outcome could be any more Evany than it got. For anyone that doesn't know, the anniversary celebration opened up and we finally have the North Ocean Trading Company available. In turn, that also means that the Dragon, Jozar, I'm going to call it now, is available to get. If we go to the North Ocean Trading Company, we can see the menu there. And there is another joint event that is going on where you complete quests and get celebration points. We'll look at this a bit later. If we come to redeem, we have the area where you can redeem items. And you see here the Jozar dragon pattern. This is the item that you need to unlock the dragon. Now, if you remember about a week ago when we got the message for the North Ocean Trading Company and everybody had to look at it and we did the video, we got 10 of the Frost Wolf gold coins. So pretty much everyone coming into this event had 10 of those coins. And if you see here, it shows 10 for me right there. However, and this is a very big however, you need a thousand of those coins to get the dragon. Yep. 1,000. They gave us 10. We need 1,000. I don't think I can say any more than that. To top it off, if you click the plus sign, it tells you how to get more of the coins. And as you see here, you can get coins from daily activity. You can get up to 72 coins. So, assuming doing the daily activity is a breeze for you, at the end of it, you will have 82 coins pretty much for free. That's 82 out of 1,000. Where are the rest of the coins going to come from? You guessed it. Good old packs. You can see it right there. Frostwolf gold coin. You get five in the $5 pack. Presume, and I'm sure you will get double downs as well and things like that. So, as a lot of people estimated, this is pretty much a dragon for sale. There's no other way to describe it. When over 90% of the items that you need to get the dragon, you can only get by buying packs, it's literally for sale. Now, perhaps some people might be happy with that. When I think about it, it might, for some people, actually work out to be a bit cheaper than if they had to qualify for all stars and go through and get the dragon, or if they had to try to push for Wonder 3. But for a lot of other people, myself included, this is a very big disappointment. So thank you, Ebony, for nothing. I will claim the very random rewards that you have here. I'll get me some refined stones, some rune stones, blah, blah, blah. And I will call it at that. There is pretty much nothing else worth doing for people like me in this anniversary event. It's just going to be another event. Now that that's out of the way, the other events that I have running on alongside with this is a sort of point event where you gain points for completing a certain amount of tasks. And the more points you get, as you can see at the top, you gradually go along and unlock the rewards and you can claim them. At the end of this event, the top rank players will be able to get this. So, the main thing up for grabs is the Mirror Lake Castle. You'll be able to get that and you'll be able to get all the other items there as well. And it goes on all the way down to top 50. There is a slight difference though. For the top five, you get the castle permanently, but as it goes down, there becomes a time restriction. So you can see from 6th to 10th place, you only get the castle for 30 days. Beyond that, you get for 14 days. And after that, you only get it for a week. Some form of consolation, perhaps. But for anyone that is interested in that, that's what you get. Fortunately, the tasks that you need to clear to get points are actually quite reasonable. 
If you click on the information icon here and you scroll down, it tells you basically what quests you can complete and how many celebration points you get for each one. Now, if you look at them, there are some that are fairly decent, like producing resources in your city. You get 15 points for 1 million resources. That's not bad. Offering tributes, 15 points, that's okay as well. Killing boss monsters above level 10 for 100 points, that's good. And so on, as you go down, there are a lot of other things. So, while this part of the event is also very coining centric, if you are a free to play player, you can actually grind your way through this and get some rewards in the process. Also, if you're able to get up to 100,000 points, you'll be able to redeem this avatar frame here. If that excites you about the event, that's great. In a weird way though, one thing I am happy about this event is that it really shows you the state of Ebony right now, the state of what we're dealing with. If you're like me, you're probably bummed out that this is another coining event and it's just another money grab and it's just a matter of spending money, spending money and spending money. But when you look at these rankings, it really shows you how much money people are actually spending in the game. And for me, this is very instructive and it's kind of mind blowing. Today is the first day of the event. The event just started today. If you look at the rewards at the top, you can see that the rewards, the maximum reward is at 7 million 500 points. So you need to get 7 million 500 points to get this last reward. Remember I said today is the first day. Look at the rankings. This is probably different depending on your server and your continent. Uh, they are doing groupings for this, but this is what mine looks like. Here is top eight. Note that every single person in top eight on the first day has cleared the maximum rewards already. So anyway, make of it what you will. Unfortunately, we have one other bit of disappointment in this event, and that is the civilization gear. Now, we all were a bit excited when we were voting, trying to get the gear backs and stuff like that. Well, they're back. Just not in the way that we hoped they would come. So, if we click on Civilization Equipment Returns, yep, 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 yep. We have a wheel. We have a wheel with Civilization Fragments in it. Oh joy. How do you spin this wheel? Well, you spin this wheel with the Civilization Wheel of Fortune coins. These are the coins that we got when we voted for the Civilization gear. So you used up the voting tickets and they gave you coins. As you can see, I have 270. I don't know if that's the max amount or not, but that's about it. So I could spin this wheel 27 times. How do you get more coins? Again, I don't think you have to wonder too much about it. If we click here, yep, there it is. Another pack for you to enjoy and celebrate your anniversary celebration. So again, for people that are comfortable with coining and this falls within their budget, it might actually be a good deal. For someone like me, it's not. So I would just, in my free time, spin the wheel, get whatever rewards I can get, and that'll be that. So guys, contrary to what I had hoped for, for some of us, it's not going to be much of a celebration. Anyway, I'm still working on some videos, so we'll have some more stuff coming out in the next couple of days. But I hope you guys have a good time. Enjoy the event if you can. Take care. Aka signing out.